Hello, why is so, is, is so special the perfect bra? For a woman, the first thing what you're wearing in the morning, of course, is a bra. And um, Intimissimi this year came up with this amazing idea to create this beautiful book, this very fashionable book, um, and to guide women how to choose an amazing, perfect bra. They come up with 12 styles um, that every woman can choose for a different occasion to go work out at the gym, to go for evening, to go and feel very sexy and feminine during the day. Um, you can wear any style of the bras that present in the book and it just feels you know very comfortable and sexy and it's very important to have a right bra and um, you know in Timi Simi is this kind of company that creates something with love from Italy and um, I think they did it really well. What kind of high underwear do you prefer? Sexy? Comfortable? Um, both, you know, uh, because actually I don't see, pr like, intimacy lingerie, I don't separate sexy and comfortable because in intimacy lingerie it's two in one. It's sexy and comfortable because when you buy a bra you have to think, of course, we women we want to have amazing lingerie and beautiful. And sometimes I buy some lingerie that is so beautiful, but it's so uncomfortable. When intimacy me underway, it doesn't happen because it's comfortable and is beautiful and sexy. Lingerie is your second skin. When you wear it, you have to feel it. You know, you have to feel right. You have to feel like it's really your second skin. You don't need to feel uncomfortable or tired or you want to get rid of the bra. So perfect bra tour guides you how to choose the right bra, how to choose the right style, and just how to feel sexy and feminine in the bra. Um, how do you, you, how do you take care of yourself? What are your secrets? Uh, well, it's very, very hard with my work, you know, I travel so much. And uh, two days ago I was in New York and I was working for 14 hours and I got on a plane and I traveled 10 hours and then I work and now I'm here. So I think for me, personally, I need to get some sleep, you know, I need to get five hours sleep, at le uh, 10 hours sleep at least a day um, to feel um, great. And, um, you know, drink a lot of water, of course, um, take care of your skin, you know, put a lot of moisturizer on the skin and um, try to stay away from the sun because it's, you know, it's damaging your skin and go work out in the gym, you know, because it's very important and, um, you know, I'm this kind of person who doesn't stay home and blame my genetic that is good so I can, I don't need to do something, you know, I'm this kind of woman who will go and do something and try to get better because we always can get better, you know, it's not like, oh, we're so perfect, we can stay home and eat and just enjoy because we're beautiful, you know, we always have to um, try to push ourselves and be better. What do you like to do when you are not working? Oh, this has happened, unfortunately or fortunately, not pretty often, but I really love to just spend my time at home, watch TV and uh, go movie theater, go sometimes ballet or musical, or just do something regular, you know, walk down the street, walk my dog, just something very quiet because, you know, I work so much and I travel and um, for my... For my rest time, I just try to stay quiet and try to relax before my next trip. You like Spain, Madrid? What's the most uh, do you like in Spain or doing in Spain in Madrid? I love Spain. Um, I mean, Barcelona was my first city where I started working after Paris. It was actually my was second city. The people is really nice. The weather is amazing. Not today, unfortunately, but in general. And, uh, you know, people very warm and welcome. Food is amazing. I mean, culture side is really nice, you know. it's. It's just, you know, I feel like home here. It's it's an amazing country with warm people, amazing food, and just, you know, beautiful people. Now that you live in Madrid, uh, are you learning uh, Spanish? <laughs> uh, well, I do travel. I don't really live in Madrid. I do travel everywhere, and uh, very often people ask me, where do you live? And uh, I take a minute to answer this question, and I say, well, I can say that I do live in the airplane because, you know, I travel so, so much. And um, um, I don't understand it. I don't speak any Spanish, but when people speak, I can really pick up and understand. But um, I wish I wish I can speak Spanish, it's a beautiful language, and I mean, it's the second language in the world that people use. So, maybe one day. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.